We're now learning the death toll in Turkey and Syria following this week's deadly back-to-back -back earthquakes has surpassed 20,000. These satellite photos from Maxar show the extent of the devastation with entire apartment buildings toppled and reduced to rubble. Here's some more, and these are like 20, 25 floor sky rises just completely collapsed. At least 15 million people saw a strong to severe shaking. And you can see the damage just goes on and on. Here's some more. In some places, the ground turned into mud through a process called liquefaction, causing additional collapses. Geologists and seismologists have been hard at work analyzing exactly what happened, and they found up to about three meters of slip. In other words, along the East Anatolian Fault Zone, one tectonic plate slid about three to five meters past another. That's like 10 to 15 feet. And here's what that actually looks like. Fault lines are something you can literally step from one side to another on. And so here's about like two and a half, three meters of what we call left lateral movement. Basically, if you're on one tectonic plate and you look at the other, left lateral strike slip, side by side motion. Here's another, and train tracks too. 